it's Manam. Today, I wanna share you guys about five things which I learned from the Philippines. This time, I spent in the Philippines for one month. I learned not only English but also so many things from Filipino. I really wanna share you guys five things which I learned from the Philippines. So let's go! Before watching this video, please subscribe our channel and follow my Instagram. Manahalo! <laughs> let's go! Number one, positive thinking. Sometimes I think negative things. When I had a bad situation, I talk to my Filipino teacher and um, I say in this world everything is competitive and um, sometimes I don't have enough confidence. Teacher say to me like if there are no competitive things in the world, our life is so boring. So um, competition is sometimes good for you and I realize wow the thinking way is so good and I had the kind of like positive word I feel like so happy and so positive next time I talk to my Filipino friends and I say I don't have enough confidence so I feel like so sad my Filipino friends say to me like you are only one we are unique so you don't have to compare with other people i feel like so impressed i realize if i use positive word everyone will be happy so i decided to use positive word to everyone and uh, i have so many filipino fans you guys always give me positive words right you guys always make me happy sometimes i feel like so sad or sometimes I'm disappointed but um, even when I am disappointed I'm decided to use positive word and uh, I learned so many positive things from my Filipino teachers and Filipino friends thank you so much Salama. number two say hello to everyone I am Japanese and I'm so shy person if I am in Japan. I don't say hello to people which I don't know. But um, for example, when I at the mall, so many Filipino people say to me, Hello, how are you doing? I like your t-shirts. I like your hairstyle. It's good way to make friends and uh, the people make me happy too. I realize so many Filipino have so many friends because you guys always say hello to everyone right hello is greeting things it's so important i want to make more friends there so i wanna say hello to everyone but in japan it's like a little bit weird because not so many people say hello to people which we don't know but uh, i will say hello to people who i don't know in japan too maybe no, not maybe. Yes, I will do that. Number three, cherish family. I realize Filipino people really take care of family, cherish family. It makes me my heart warm because sometimes I hang out with my friends but um, sometimes I not forget but uh, I reply to my family's message late but uh, my family is really important and uh, my mom is only my mom I have to take care of my family still my family and I live not together so it's hard to communicate sometimes but uh, we have electronic device PC or like cell phone I call to my mom or my dad every day but um, sometimes I reply message date and I realize Filipino people share this family so carefully I saw the situation I think that was so good 
I love you, my mom, dad, my little brother. Sometimes you can hang out with your friends, but uh, sometimes we need to spend our family more. I think so many Japanese people like to hang out with friends. Even celebration day, Japanese people really like to go outside with friends. So maybe family are so sad. So I'm decided to cherish my families more. I love you. Arigato. And Salamapo. Number four. Think positively. Not all, but uh, some Japanese people think so seriously, and uh, me too. Sometimes I think about something so seriously, but um, if I think about something seriously or negatively, I feel like my feeling is getting more negatively. I have to enjoy my life by myself and I realize my Filipino friends always think about something so positively and um, they look so happy always. The one of reason why I love Filipino is you guys always think about something positively and really love it. Every time I go to the Philippines, I feel like so glad and uh, so thankful. I want to follow the Filipino thinkings because I wanna spend my life so positively. So I should think something so positively. If you have good way to stay positive, please let me know. I wanna know, I wanna learn from you guys so much. I will think about something positively every day. Number five. Say I love you to important person. I was so shocked when I talked to Filipino friends and uh, she said do Japanese people say I love you many times and I say no because Japanese people really shy person we don't say I love you so much for me even family or friends I don't say I love you I think this is like our culture maybe I always say thank you so much or like I always share my appreciation or feeling but uh, I realize it's important to say I love you because it's so sweet I have to share my feelings and emotion to important person more so I'm decided to say I love you to my family, friends, and uh, you too. So I'm gonna say I love you to you guys. In my opinion, as a Japanese, I love you is a little bit serious situation. I don't know. Tensai kidori. I always say like I like you or thank you, but uh, it's so sweet. I love you. I wanna say I love you to everyone and I realize my fans always say to me I love you right and uh, that makes me so happy and appreciate it's so sweet that's all that are my five things which I learned from the Philippines and Filipino I was able to study English but uh, not only English but also I learned like so many things so I have to say thank you so much and uh, I love you guys actually we have difficult situation right now but uh, I really hope to come back to the Philippines very soon and uh, I hope you will wait for me yes <laughs> Even I am in foreign country, you guys give me a lot of warm message and a lot of warm hearts. Thank you so much. Please stay healthy and stay safe. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and follow my Instagram. See you on the next video. Bye bye.